Hey everybody, Tuesday, April 2nd, 9 a.m. So I wasn't here yesterday, Monday, had a little medical scare, or a big medical scare with my mom. And um, day started off good and then just, well, you know, so I wasn't here yesterday. Haven't been here since uh, Friday. Came by, noticed a few trucks, so probably not much to show today. We've got one, two, three, four, got four trucks picking up dirt. Let's count the beams and see if they are all still here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So at 22, looks like the beams are still here. Nothing's happened. This has been smoothed out a little bit more. I uh, got the beams behind the first row of beams. Um, yeah. Okay, it's kind of cold out here. Yesterday was nice and hot. We've hit some records recently for the weather. And all of a sudden I wake up this morning and walk outside and it's cold out here. It's really cold. Um, I had to reset my Garmin watch so I have no idea what the temperature is out here right now. Got a lot of planes taken off. Maybe I'll get some uh, plane footage in here in a minute. I really want to get some plane footage sometime later this week if the weather works out. So, as I said before, I thought much was not going to be happening. They were going to be doing the base. I mean, they were going to be leaving the base alone. And we've got some flags on the ground right now. So, maybe that is where those beams are going to be going. I'm thinking that's where those beams are going to go. They were talking about strictly a, well, maybe the beams are going to be for the clarifier. I don't know. So we got a bunch of uh, trucks getting filled up with dirt, but it doesn't look like there are any trucks on standby. Remember before we had like 15, 20 trucks at a time. This mound of dirt is maybe, maybe one quarter down from what it used to be. So I was thinking they'd either get it done this week or next week. I don't know if they're even going to get it done by then, but they're really working pretty quickly. And I'd say that's really all that's, that I see that is going on here. We have no management trucks over here. Remember all those white trucks? We have one white truck over there. We have no guys over here. We've got the guy leading the trucks inside here. We've got the flag man. Oh, another truck just pulled up. <laughs> Maybe they're coming in from the back. I don't know where they're coming from. So I'm going to walk across the street in a minute and let's watch the truck come down the road. And then I'm going to go over to the other area where they were breaking up the street. And we'll take a close-up look at that. I saw them working on it yesterday. I saw them closing up the road. So we got three trucks over here. We got a yellow truck coming in, but I don't really see where many other trucks are, are right now. So. What is going on over here? I still see no beams raised up or in the ground. There's that guy over there again with the grinder. Grinding away, grinding the ends of those beams. So there's enough, there's enough dangerous traffic out here. In Los Angeles when it's overcast. I don't know why, but I've just noticed when it's overcast, people Maybe it's the glare. People just don't see as well as they normally would on a sunny day. And yeah, they could hit you because they're not looking. They just don't see people in crosswalks or moving around. So, uh, all right, so maybe I'll put this on the internet today and we'll have some better, look at these people. We'll have some better news instead of all that nipsy stuff. This guy is going towards the stop sign. Stop right here. Yeah, let's go swimming. Let's go on. People are maniacs 
out here. So they see that camera looking at them, they do not react. All right, so these guys started out way down over here, and they're moving all the way down the street. So I have no idea what's going on now. I don't know if this is for the Argo, or if they're going to take this all the way down Westchester Parkway. But they're breaking up the road, and then they're covering it up, which would mean plumbing. I would think plumbing, and that over there with that. God, look at the sky, look at the clouds. I'm feeling a lot of moisture in the air. Okay, so that over there is bicycle rider. Look at these awesome planes. Man, what a beautiful day to photograph and to record. But I don't really have extra batteries, so I don't know if I'm gonna do that today. So uh, that's where they finished breaking up the road. We've got nothing broken up here. But I'm assuming that they're going to break it up and they're going to go right down over here to this dirt pit where the Argo drain is. We've got more metal plates over here. We've got the same company, what was it, Alfaro? Alfaro Communications. Maybe I'll ask them what the heck they're doing. I'd love to know. I would love to know. All right, this is pretty cool. Hey. Yeah, I'm going to ask them find out what's going on okay so remember last week I was saying on Friday what the heck do they have a communications truck out here for um, and I was questioning the whole thing that's pretty much what it is it's AT&T fiber optics going in the ground this has nothing to do with Argo at all so I stand by what I said last Friday and I take back what I said earlier about this might be related to Argo. Totally not related. I really don't want to leave the dog at home, but I'm already out and I don't know how far I want to walk. I don't know how far this walk is, but I'm going to see if I can get to the airport and grab some video footage of that because this is going to be a, a nothing day as far as Argo. Hey people. So the plan was to film some footage of the airplanes taking off at LAX this week. But I was going to ride my bike down there, and I'm already on foot filming the Argo project, so I thought, why not just keep walking? Big mistake. This is a long walk, probably a mile. I don't have my shoes tied right, and my feet are starting to hurt. It's cold. It might rain. A lot of moisture in the air. Uh, so this was a big mistake. But we're going to get some footage. Please do a thumbs up, a share, a like. Share this, share the video, definitely. Help help me out. Leave lots of comments. Help out my channel. If you want to donate, keep me going. Ask for my PayPal info. Nobody ever does, but I say it anyway. Um, maybe there's a millionaire out there. And what else do I want to say? Uh, it's a review channel. If there's a product you want me to review, let me know what it is. If I can get a hold of it, I'll do the review. So I'll be back in about 10 minutes of walking and we'll record. Okay, now I'm at LAX. I just walked like a mile and a half to do this. The weather is terrible. I hope it's not going to rain because I've got to walk a mile and a half back. But I've never been on this side of the swell. I have, but a long time ago. I didn't know you could... Ah, it's loud. Look at that. I really made a big mistake. I should have brought my, hear my hearing protection. It is way too loud here. If I had a tripod, I could cover my ears, so I'm not going to wipe out my hearing for this video. But this is a good place to shoot video that I didn't even know would have such a good view. There's another area further down that has a really nice view looking downward. And uh, I'm just going to shoot a little bit of video here. Here we go. Got a plane taking off. Where is it? Looks really good against the uh, the cloudy skies. Even though I wish it was sunny and I wish I had my hearing plugs. So, looks like we have a ton of planes there, I believe, lined up for takeoff. So, I'm probably going to come back out here again 
in the not too distant future and bring hearing protection okay there they are they're lined up over there bring some hearing protection and come out here and shoot some video yeah this is really nice nice quiet street nobody to bother me um, looking at this construction site over here I don't know what the heck it's for all right here is he taking off or is he it's not as busy as it was I, I think it's supposed to be busy in like another hour or two still pretty early um yeah long walk it's cold it's windy and i'm gonna have to go back and shower because i'm all burning up from walking out here here we go maybe i need to zoom in a little bit so i'm still walking <laughs> I'm going to try to find that location, if I can, where I'm up a little bit higher, looking down into the airport. And then I'm going to head on home before it rains. I don't know if it's supposed to rain, but uh, I might be taking my mom to the doctor in a little bit. Um... I shoot a lot of video. I shoot a, a good amount of video. And I never have any problems when I'm out shooting video. You know, you watch these idiots doing those First Amendment audits where they walk into a building and jam a camera in somebody's face thinking that they're protecting their rights. But your rights are Delta. Look at that. He's flying, man. Look at him. Well, of course he's flying. He's moving. Your rights are to be able to film anywhere, I, I agree, but who in the world is going to go and take a camera into an office and start filming somebody working? Ridiculous. So, as a person who shoots video, I do it the right way. I do it the clean way. You shoot your video. Where the heck is that area where I used to stand on top of and look down? I don't know. Oh, there it is. Okay, I see it. I'm going to go walk over there now. Um, yeah, there's a cop standing or parked around the corner. So you just do it the right way. You don't stir up problems. You don't, oh, you don't cause problems. Is he landing? So I'm going to go cross over and... Alright, here comes another one. Look how fast they go. Just incredible. Awesome. Alrighty, I'm a little bit higher up on ground level. And I'm a little further away, not by much, from all the noise. So... Let's see. Yeah, I can see one. I'm going to have to zoom in. Let me stop in a minute. Lean against the post for stability. And we have a, a plane lined up over there to take off. That white one with the lights flashing. <clears throat> I cannot see a thing with all this glare. And then if you look in the background on the right where he's going to pass in a minute, there's another plane lining up to, uh, to take off. Alaska Air. Okay, so I get a kind of better view looking downward, but I, I really miss a lot of the plane. Okay, so what do we have over here? We've got this one behind me. And we got 
That guy is turning right, so we have one. We have one. How many? We have one. Okay, there it is. The down over there. We have one lined up. We have one behind him. Two. Three. I think we've only got a few. Let's look at the size of this thing. Oh my god. This is a little bit easier on the hearing, but next time I come out here, I'm going to have a plastic bag to protect the camera. I'm going to have some earplugs. Looks like a Delta. At least my vision's not that bad. Okay, we got one, and we have a Southwest, we have a white plane, we have another Southwest. We have four planes lined up. Not that big. Oh, and there's another Southwest. I don't know if he's taking off or coming in. So it's not as busy as I had thought it was going to be. But this is not listed as the busy time. Like 6 a.m. is busy, and I think 11 a.m. is busy. Um, I came out here one time about 4 o'clock, and this place had about 10, 15 planes lined up to take off. So look at that beautiful sky out there. That's Los Angeles for you people. Sun's trying to break through the clouds. Got this wonderful L.A. air. You got a golf course across the street over here and some radar stuff. Um, let's grab a few more planes taken off. Should give me a good video to post. Then I'll get on, out, get on out of here. I will get out of here. I don't need to say get on. I'll get out of here. Okay, so we've got one, two, three. It looks like about four planes lined up. Very, very slow. Very slow. Not much happening. We got the police car, police SUV driving down the, the side road by the runway. Uh, I don't know if that's, that doesn't look like LAPD, but it doesn't look like uh, airport police. So, I don't know. Man, this place stinks. That, that fuel, the brakes, the smell. Ugh. Okay, so we've got two planes in the back over there. We got one that's coming around to take off and one that's getting ready to take off and two southwests behind. So not that many planes. And one coming in. <clears throat> one coming in for landing. Do I want to get the one that's coming in for landing or the one taking off? Let's get the one that's landing. Beautiful. Okay, I've got like a long walk, a really long walk to get back to where I started from, so I'm going to start doing that now. I think the weather is calming down, but I still don't know if it's going to rain. My eyes are just tearing like I'm crying from all of this cold air and uh, probably all the pollen in the sky. Um, I'm going to have one more takeoff. Zoomed in really far. That's the only problem is this power thing in the tree over here. West is coming up in a minute. There he goes. So the nice thing is I'm able to see more. Not see more, but see more when I come over here but I can't really see as much looking down downward and there is a plane taking off on the that's really good that's really good that's how they drive around here That was an Uber driver. What a surprise. All right, so it's pretty quiet. We got that Southwest that's coming over there. And this one slowed down when he saw the camera. Incredible what that camera does for driving skills. 
Okay, let me cross and get out of the way over here before somebody runs me over. All right, what do we have? It sounds like a small plane. Air American Eagle, it's a small plane. And here is the Southwest. Taking off. So I get a better view when I'm over here, but I can't see downward as much. At least I'm not blocked by the trees. All right, I think that's gonna be it. Um, drag strip over here. And all of a sudden, no planes are taken off. That's kind of odd. Next time I come down here, I'll follow the, uh, the information about when the airport is the busiest and I'll bring my hearing protection and I'll come out and shoot for maybe half an hour and get some good video. Um, all right, what the heck is this? Private plane? Another American Eagle. One takes off, one lands. And there's a plane taking off in the back over there. Alrighty. So I'm going to shut this down. Remember to share the video, leave some comments, do some likes, thumbs up, help me out. Unless you don't want to. Subscribe, definitely subscribe, make this channel grow. I only have like 17,000 uh, subscribers. I need about 17 million. If I get 17 million, man, that would be awesome. The advertising revenue would just be insane. And believe me, with that amount of money, I would just be donating it all over the place because you can't really spend that much in your lifetime. So, uh, okay, it's quiet. Look at this, it's really quiet. Yeah, there's another... Uh, construction thing here. I have no clue what this is. This is uh, 9101 North, <coughs> Northside Parkway Midfield Satellite Concourse. I don't know what any of that means. But no planes taken off in the last, what, two minutes? It's a plane landing. Alright, I'm going to put this camera on my belt and get out of here. See ya. I'm coming back for my two mile walk. What's crazy about this AT&T project is they just blacktopped, they just patched and redid this whole street not more than a year ago, I think. And now AT&T is breaking it up. So I believe the city rules, state rules, county rules, I believe the rules are that um, they have to go back in and patch it up and make the road like it, seal everything up like it was originally. They just can't do a, a, a simple patch job. Or maybe they just give all the money to the county and let them do it. Who knows? So, um, I'm heading back over to the uh, site way down there, the Argo drain site. I'm going to finish off the video. Give me a chance to see what they've done the last hour. Alright, there it is. Almost back to where I started from. Not as good of a view, obviously, as where I was before. Yeah, I'm back at the uh, Argo Drain location. I'm on the south side of Westchester Parkway. Looking at this big pile of dirt, it really looks like they are tearing it down from all sides. I could be wrong, but it sure looks to me like they're not just working that one area, but that's only where I've seen him. So maybe he is moving dirt, or maybe it's just my imagination. Um, AT&T crossing the road, still putting their wires in the ground. Yeah, that that pile of dirt sure looks a lot lower than it did a couple weeks ago, but maybe not. I mean, I think it is. So I'm going to cross the street and get away from this traffic nightmare. And believe me, it is a traffic nightmare of dangerosity. Let's see if I can cross the street. It is cold out here. My nice long walk, I just sweated through a whole t-shirt and a t-shirt and a half. 
So I'm gonna cross the street now. I'm gonna get out of here and check out the rest of the Argo thing that's going on over there. I like it, I'm crossing the crosswalk and on the ground it says dump. <laughs> All right, so that is uh, the southeast corner of this. And I'm gonna finish off this video now. Let's look over at the pumping station. I still do not see any beams standing up. The guy is over there grinding down his beams. But uh, absolutely nothing else looks like it's happening over there. A lot of sand on the sidewalk here. So let's go back over and look. Really nothing's going on at the, at the uh, pumping station. And I saw nothing that looked like they were popping uh, pipes underground from the pumping station to the airport. So that's not happening yet. This guy looks like he's sitting here idle. Probably no trucks over here. Probably zero trucks. This pile has really gone way, way down. It's spread out and dropped way down. Um, yeah. This has gone way down. Easily another two weeks to take that thing down, if not more. Let's look over to the other side, the north side. Zero trucks lined up, no trucks on the property, no trucks getting filled up. When did I start this thing at like 9 a.m.? It's already 10 a.m., unbelievable. All right, I'm gonna include the walk that I took at the end of this video. At the end of this video, I'm going to include the walk that I took down to uh, LA Airport to look at the planes taking off. So it's gonna be a really long video. But nothing is going on here right now. They're just smoothing out the dirt and that guy's taking a break. N again, no management trucks at all. Uh, I, I see no white pickup trucks. Um, the guy there with the clipboard. I don't even see the flag guy. So it's too early for a break. I just don't think much is happening right now. There's the fuel truck moving around and I'm gonna end this video well, maybe it's not a fuel truck he's spraying water I thought that was a fuel truck Wow oops on me I always thought that was a fuel truck all right people make sure you do that thumbs up share and like and all that other garbage that I say I'll see you probably uh, Wednesday Thursday Friday when something starts to happen around here